It was winter time on Sodor. The ground was covered in snow. The water had turned into ice, and the air was freezing. The engines always feel the cold air every morning they, when they wake up. Their fires always help them warm up so they can get on with their day. One morning, James's crew was getting him ready for the day's work, but they needed to get warmed up first. So they were getting warmed up from his fire. When it was time to go, they set off. But they needed to refill James's water tank, and yet some of the water towers were frozen. But thankfully, they made it to one that wasn't frozen. This water is going to be cold as heck, James, so you better be ready when it goes down your water tank. <sighs> it's better than nothing, I guess. Let's get this over with. That's the spirit. Now let's fill up your tank right now. So the water went down into his tank. It was freezing and James felt like he went underwater for an hour and came out of it at night time when it's not warm to cool down. But something went wrong. His fireman forgot to tell the driver to turn the tap off. So water was overflowing on James. He was very shocked about it. It felt even more freezing than it already was. Whoops, sorry about that James. At least we know that your tank is now full. Now let's get going so I can get warm again by the fire after shoveling more coal. You're telling me I'm ready to get out of this darn cold weather. Easy for you to say. I'm feeling even more cold than ever. I better not turn into a trainsicle. Oh, don't be so dramatic, James. You'll be back in the sheds before you know it. They set off to get their load of freight cars ready. As they were on their way, James was all of a sudden feeling thirsty and told his driver that he needs some water. So the driver turned on the injector, but nothing happened. He tried again, and still nothing. James was slowing down more and more. Oh, I'm feeling so much pain! Why isn't anything working? I hope the water didn't turn into ice. That's causing the pipe to be clogged. I will be right too. The weather's too cold for the water to melt right away. They came to a stop by the single box. His fire was still going, but James still can't move at all. His driver went to the single man to call for help. Oh man, Henry will never let me forget about this. It'll be like his payback for all the teasing I gave him. <laughs> Don't worry, James. We're not going to do the same thing as Henry did. We're just going to keep the fire going to keep the three of us warm. Well, what about the coal? Aren't you worried that we'll run out? Well... We'll get more once we fix the problem in the water pipe. James felt a bit better after hearing that. The workers got the news about James's problem and sent a diesel to help James to take him there. James was really surprised. It was a diesel that he had never even seen before. Getting rescued by a diesel? This is definitely unexpected. Once his fire was cooled off, the diesel started to push James to the works, because it was easier to push him without the fire going. Five minutes later, they made it to the works. James thanked the diesel for helping him, and the diesel replied with a happy horn. His fireman helped figure out the problem. He went to his boiler and found the problem. I knew it. The tank won't open because it's frozen from overflowing. The ice is stopping the air to get in the tank, so it's not letting the water do its thing. Well, that's just brilliant. What will happen next today? Don't worry. Once the ice melts on your boiler, the water will melt inside of you as well. Then the injector will be working again. James wasn't happy to hear all that. He wanted to get back to the sheds where it's warm, but then he realized something. If it wasn't for the diesel to take him to the works, he would have been stuck in the cold breeze even longer. That made him change his mind about diesels. Not all of them are devious, nor want steam engines to be scrapped. 
a lot of them are actually really useful. Maybe I should... Maybe I should pay attention more to diesels after all, and not my splendid red coat of paint. <laughs>